Hey guys, this is Margaret Crater, the Tapping into Health Coach Training Program. And in this video, this is day one of my five day challenge. I'm gonna be with you, with you five days in a row. And this is really for coaches and healers and therapists who wanna step into 2017. And you have a dream, you have a vision, you really wanna help people. Now, even if you haven't gotten started as a coach, you've just been thinking about it or maybe dabbling in some different modalities, this five day challenge is for you because it really is about using our more of our chakras to start to tune into miracles in 2017 so instead of you just working hard it'll feel more like you're co-creating with the divine and that things are unfolding for you in a way that are easier have more ease and feel like you're being your the world is aligning with you as you move forward in your dreams and that is when it gets really awesome so here's the first part that we're going to do today it's really about connecting your six and your seventh chakra, so right here and right here, um, to your dream. And how do we do that? I'm like writing the title and I'm like, people are gonna be like, what? Connecting your what? Well, your sixth and seventh chakra comes from, you know, the yogic tradition of the chakras. These are two different levels of consciousness that have to do with um, infinite possibility, which is the seventh chakra, right? What's possible for you? And the sixth chakra is really about the vision. You know, can you really see yourself doing it? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a breath and I want you to close your eyes and just go into your body for a second, okay? And I want you to imagine the goal that you have for this year. And sometimes when I say that, our minds race, right? It's like, which goal? So I want you to think about just for the purposes of this, how much do you want to earn and it's like how many people does that represent because we need a number that you're going to earn and then we also need the number of people that that is going to come from right the people that you're going to help and support so i want you to just close your eyes and picture some number of people and the number of income that you want to receive this year okay um, and so I just want you to kind of see both of those things. Maybe it's like a dollar value swirling in a whole room full of people. And I want you to just see those people there. And there's something that you're going to do to help and support them, to transform them, whatever the work that you do is, right? That you're going to be giving or doing. And maybe you're new at it, but you're going to be like really like, you know, jumping into it this year. But there's going to be something that you uniquely do and give to these people in exchange for this money. And it's part of your purpose. So I want you to imagine that you can see these people and they're looking at you and they are actually waiting for you because they have the exact pain and the exact problems and the exact struggles that you know how to fix or are learning how to fix. So just see them there. See them waiting and wanting. And just see them looking at you because there's gonna be something about you that for some reason, um, you with your talents and your gifts and your insecurities and your weaknesses will make you the perfect person for them. Maybe it's your sense of humor, the way you talk, your particular background, I don't know, but there's something about you and what you do together that actually makes you the right fit for them. So they're really looking at you and they're saying to you, I really need your help. I really want your help. I've been waiting for your help. Maybe they're saying, I didn't know it was possible to get help. Wow, you're here. And I want you to just see that energy. See them being there with that energy, okay? And I just want you to go inside with that. Is this really your calling? Is this really what you want to do? Do you really want to bring your transformation to people and have it received by them? People who really need you, who need you and your gifts. Is this vision real? And so what I want you to think about in that energy, you know, and sometimes it's nice when you see that and you start to feel like, yes, this really is what I want to do. It's kind of like reconnecting to that calling, right? And so just be there with it and maybe fill that virtual room with all of those people waiting for you. Just fill it with light. 
And it's okay if it's making you feel a little bit like, oh my God, can I really help all these people? That's okay. There should be a little bit of excitement in there. But I want you to just feel, you know, is it or isn't it true? Like, is this a calling that you have or not? And if it's a calling and if it's a draw and if it's something that you may don't even know why, but you just want to help people. Like, where did it come from? Where did it come from? Because it probably came somewhere from inside of you, but maybe somewhere else too, right? Maybe this was an inspiration or it feels like a soul pull or a calling. And so, you know, is it real? Is your dream and your desire or your just leaning in intention to help other people, is it real? It's good to just check in on that, right? Because sometimes in the busyness of what we have to do or the being unsure of what to do next, we start to forget that we really do have a calling and we do feel pulled. And that means that there is people in the future who are like, I need someone to come help me. They're like pulling, right? They're like, I need help. Where is it help gonna come from? Oh, I wish someone would come and help me. So there really is that calling. And I want you to just be open to the idea that this is coming from within you, from your heart, your experience, and it probably is also some seventh chakra inspiration, right? Maybe some divinely guided inspiration that's coming to you about your calling, the calling that you're feeling drawn to in this phase of your life. And with your sixth chakra, you can take that inspiration and that calling and you can make a mental picture of it and see it. So I just want you to take a breath and close your eyes again and just zoom out like there's you and all of these people and just kind of see all of you from a distance. And just let your, you know, this is the miracle of the sixth chakra, our imagination, right? Is that you can see it. And I want you to see it unfolding. It's almost like you could see now a timeline of 2017. There you are like at the beginning of the year, right? And maybe you were on the big healing webinar with me last night and moved a whole bunch of stuff, right? And are stepping into more power. But you're starting out the year and you don't have all those people yet. You haven't met them yet. Maybe you still need skills. But you're going on a journey over 2017. And just imagine you can see it. And along the way, you are being guided and drawn and pulled at every step. You're just getting these intuitive hits, and these insights, and you're following those nudges to act, to learn more, to network more, to pick up the phone and call somebody, right? To add to your skills, to use your skills, right? To actually practice your skills, to speak more about what you do, to have a little more courage. I don't know, but see that year, like there you are, following your intuition. And imagine if it could be leading you towards miraculous, like synchronistic people and circumstances and things showing up that just support you. So instead of it being a struggle, you're open to that outside support, that inspiration coming in, and you just start getting there more quickly. So there you are at the end of the year. And somehow all of these things have unfolded You've taken action, things have appeared for you, and you've appeared in the lives of other people, and they have paid you for your valuable service. And so the beauty of the sixth and seventh chakra is that inspiration can come in, right? And we can feel it all the way in our heart, like I feel this is what I'm drawn to. And in the sixth chakra, we can make this mental picture and say, this is actually real. It's when our dream starts to become a plan. Okay, our dream starts to become a plan and the plan starts to like your, your, your mind is so smart, it will start to formulate goals and steps and, and strategies and what do I need to do next, right? That's what the mind does well. And with those two chakras, we really can start out um, 2017 
with a bang. So I'm going to be back here tomorrow with you and we're going to take this same goal and we're going to move it into more chakras so that over the five day challenge that I'm doing with you every day here, we actually start out the year with a really, really big energy. And it's all building up to something very big that's happening on Monday that I can't wait to t for you to see. It's all happening on Monday. Um, and it's this whole process is just going to get you ready for this amazing training that I'm going to be putting out. So I'll see you tomorrow. Um, take this information, take this visualization, and I want you to just sit with it for a few more minutes after this video. That's your homework. And I will see you here for the next set of chakras tomorrow. Bye.